How's it going everyone? This is part three of our Buckskin Gold Champ Rear River Hike and this will finish out the series. We start this one off early in the morning of day two. So if you've been following along, we have just made it through Buckskin Gulch and we'll continue our hike down the Peria River to Lee's Ferry. So here we go. So like you can really like sink. Yeah, man, don't sink in the I quicksand. Won't, but like you see it like it'll like. That's a trip. And then once you start to like, oh my oh, gosh, so you can't get your Holy feet out. Crap. <laughs> well, yeah, it is. It's like a, it's like spongy. Yeah, like you can feel it. It's not gonna hurt you. I mean, if you don't let it get too far, but like you can stand Even just in it. That, like you can feel the suction. Yeah. But, and Whoa, like, it's kind of it's cool to feel like here step here like and then moving. you can feel like how hard it is to get your feet out like <laughs> it seems like a great way to have an emergency on our hands no it's not gonna ha like dude you yes, gotta get yeah, you have to get a long way in like just oh man yeah i can feel it <laughs> so then you can Look. start to feel the suction as long but then like if you pull your foot out just pull it out slowly you know like, oh yeah i feel it <laughs> it's like sucking this isn't Whoa. like super Whoa. dangerous Whoa. stuff but like <laughs> okay you can at least get a feel for <laughs> Yeah, so you can get Damn. a feel for what it's like, you know? Like, this is definitely quicksand. See, like, how much I'm sinking? Wow. Fat. Like, you start to sink fast if you just stand yeah. there. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. <laughs> that shit freaks me out, man. I wouldn't want to go that way. I really wish I would have counted how many times we crossed the Priya River on this leg of the hike because there's no trail here. You just follow the river downstream. But yeah, it seemed like we crossed it hundreds of times. Fresh spring water. This is pretty cool right here. I assume that's fresh spring water that's seeping up from the ground. I don't think I've ever seen water do that, and it felt really strange putting my hand in there. It's also just really cool to watch. It was very mesmerizing, sort of like nature's lava lamp. Right here we saw a bighorn sheep, but it was gone so quickly, he wanted nothing to do with us. And here's a picture of one that I found on the web. 
So I thought that was pretty cool. It's my first ever wild bighorn sheep encounter. It did get pretty hot here in the middle of the day, and while a lot of the hike is in the shade, there are several very exposed stretches from within Perea Canyon. So yeah, here we are just taking a break from the sun. You'll definitely want to do the same. Definitely bring some sunblock, take a good hat, and take as many breaks as you need during the hot part of the day. I'm not sure what kind of snake this is, so if anyone out there knows, please let me know down in the comments. I'll show a freeze frame of it blown up. I know it's quite pixelated here, but maybe that can help one of you snake experts out there identify this thing for me. I'm really curious about what kind of snake it is. I do know that Mojave rattlesnakes can be found in this area, which have one of the world's most potent rattlesnake venom, so you definitely want to keep your eyes peeled for snakes on this hike. So this is the path to the, one of the springs. It's hidden up here in this path. We definitely would have walked on by it. Yeah. That was another arrow. Just Man, where are you guys at? Dude, it keeps going. <laughs> it's like a jungle all of a sudden. Whoa. <laughs> Alright, this is pretty cool. <laughs> Crazy, right? Yeah. There's, there's one of the poor offs to that. Continues back here. Just this little oasis <laughs> hidden in the trees. Oh, no. <laughs> nice. Well, yeah, you can drink straight out of that. <laughs> what? You can drink straight out of that, I'm oh, sure. Oh, sure, dude. <laughs> Man, this what is crazy. <laughs> So who's going on the late night water run? <laughs> Be a little weird. I just think it's awesome because it's so different than the other one. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be chilly in the morning. <laughs> Try and get water tonight. <laughs> we ended up camping right across from this awesome spring, which takes us right into day three.
a nice echo. <laughs> Not as nice as yesterday's. I think this plant here is the Sacred Datura, which is a poisonous perennial plant that is sometimes used as a recreational hallucinogen. According to Wikipedia, it's also known as Western Jimson Weed, Indian Whiskey, and Nightshade. We actually saw one of these very early on in the hike as well, so here is that one. But again, I'm not 100% sure what these plants are, so let me know if you think they're something different. I'm gonna follow the path you went. Oh. It's weird, right? Yeah. Dude, this is a dope picture though. Yeah. Look at the look at what you guys are doing. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Quick! <laughs> So right here we are just about finished. I didn't record nearly as much on the Perea River section of the hike, but I think it's pretty cool how you can see how the canyon has opened up. And actually at this point, we're less than a mile or so away from Lee's Ferry. We planned on doing this hike in four days and three nights, but ended up just hiking out on day three. I'll also note that towards the end, the trail takes you right by Lonely Dale Ranch and the Lee's Ferry Historic District. So if you have some time on your last day here, you could check this area out. There's lots of history here. But for us, the sun was going down and actually this beautiful sunset was a great way for us to end this hike. And that is gonna wrap it up for this series. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one and we'll see you in the next one.